How can fish breathe underwater? My personal breath holding record is 3 minutes and 18 seconds. Don't try that at home, I was in a pool surrounded by lifeguards. The world record for breath holding is very impressive and is broken quite frequently. It also makes my record look like nothing. But why do we have to hold our breath in the first place? Fish can breathe underwater, but why can't we? Humans, like you and me, have lungs, and fish have gills. Both organs pull oxygen out of the surrounding environment, but they are optimized for very different environments. Aquatic mammals like whales, seals, and otters are on team lungs. When we take a breath of air, oxygen goes through our lungs into our bloodstream, and carbon dioxide goes from our bloodstream to our lungs to the outside air. Our lungs facilitate the exchange of gas through something called alveoli. Alveoli are tiny balloon-shaped air sacs in our lungs that facilitate the exchange of gases between our bloodstream and the outside air. Fun fact, a single adult lung contains over 300 million alveoli. Meanwhile, gills do pretty much the same thing, but in a different way. Fish also need to take in oxygen and expel carbon dioxide. They do this through gills. Gills are made up of many, many capillaries branching out upon one another. They do pretty much the same thing as alveoli. Fish don't need alveoli because they're exchanging gas between a liquid and a liquid, i.e. their blood and the surrounding water, whereas mammals exchange gas between gas, the air, and liquid, our blood. The main reason why fish can't breathe on land and we can't breathe underwater is that our respiratory system is optimized for gas, whereas a fish's respiratory system is optimized for liquid. 